So, what did that punching bag ever do to you? Do you mind I'm trying to work out here, okay? No, I don't mind at all. So tell me, who is it? Excuse me? Well, obviously some things that you ticked off are more like somebody. So tell me, whose face do you see on that punching bag? Now, come on, Chris. I saw you destroying that punching bag. Who are you thinking of? Do you have something better to do? Hmm, no, I, I can't think of anything. Okay, so you're not going to tell me? Then I'll guess. Hmm. Mrs. Rappaport? Oh, yeah, you're too much of a gentleman. You can have a lady. Lucky for you, huh? Oh, oh, Al Buchanan. <laughs> Bingo. This isn't a game, okay? So why don't you just knock it off? Oh, that's for sure. Jeez. You know, when Seth both dumped me and went off with Jessica, I wanted to smash her face. Hey, now hold on a second. Jessica's my friend, okay? Lucky you. And for your information, Natalie, no, I don't want to smash Al's face in. I put the guy in a wheelchair. That's more than enough, don't you think? Look, I just wanted to make sure that you knew you weren't alone. Yeah, well, maybe I want to be alone. You've already made a mess out of your own life, so why don't you stay the hell out of mine? jerk of the century. No, I try to be friendly. That's what you call being friendly? Well, yeah, and you blow up at me for no reason. Huh. Well, how about this for a reason? I just lost my girlfriend and you think it's a big joke. No, I don't. But, you know, you were in this mood. I was trying to help you out of it. Oh, you didn't. Okay, well, give me enough for people skills, but at least I was trying. You know, I just broke up with my boyfriend, and do you see me acting all mean and taking it out on everybody else? Do you really want me to answer that? You okay? Well, you threw a mean gym bag. <laughs> but yeah, I'm fine. I didn't plan that. Actually, I just planned to get an apology slam in the gym bag at you, like it kind of just happened. Well, yeah, things always happen when you're around. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, wait a minute. You can joke, but I can't. Does this have anything to do with when I told Al about Jen not being pregnant? You know, that was a mistake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a sec. I know that. I was there, remember? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I, you were... You stuck up for me. And, uh... You know, I, I thought you were a nice person then. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about going off on you before. Thanks. I mean, I mean, I know it's no excuse, but I was angry. I was angry about Jen being with Al. And I still am angry. I mean, I know I don't have the right to be, but I am. And I was right about you the first time. You are a jerk. Are you stupid? You have every right to be upset. I mean, even angry. We both do. We both just got dumped by people that we love. I didn't get dumped by Jen. I walked away. Because I'm trying to do the right thing. How... How can it be the right thing to give up someone you love? Someone who loves... Who loves you? Paul, because sometimes there are certain things that are more important than being happy. And you just gotta accept it. 
Oh, oh, that's, that's what you're doing, accepting it? Get real. You were just destroying a punch bag half an hour ago. So I'm trying to accept it. I didn't say it was easy. It totally bites. You know, every time I see Seth with Jessica, I just feel like someone's stabbing me in the heart with a knife. Yeah. I don't know, I just feel like sometimes I can't even breathe hardly, you know? I get sick to my stomach. It'll get better. When? You know, I'm still waiting. Seth and I, we've been broken up longer than you and Jen. I mean, this has got to be ten times worse on you. So what if it is ten times worse? There's nothing I could do about it. Oh, what the hell are you talking about? Of course there's something you can do about it. Look, Natalie, Jen is with Al now. And after what I did to the guy, what can I possibly do about it? Whatever you have to. You lie, you fight, you scheme. I already tried that. And that's how this whole thing has happened. I fought all over Jen, and now the guy may never walk again. Yeah, so you get the guy out of the way. Would you want to give up now? You know what? That's really sick. Well, if you have a better idea, I mean, crying yourself to sleep at night, that, that doesn't work, trust me. And uh, punching a bag, making your fingers bleed, that doesn't work either. And you know what? I think you know that. Well, maybe there's nothing you can do. Maybe you just gotta live with it. How? How do you get over the end of your life? What do you do? Do drugs? Do you drink six pack after six pack every night? Just watch cartoons? I mean, tell me, Kristen, what do you do? How? How? I need to know. I really, really need to know before. I... Hey, look, Natalie. It'll be okay. these feelings. there too. I mean, I don't know, Natalie, it's just that ever since I lost Jen, I can hardly think straight. I know the feeling. I better go. Right. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, Bob. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Um, Take care. Yeah, you you got everything? Yeah. Yeah. See 